Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius March 1, 2023. Today's transits support research, observation, and deep relationships. You can be pleasantly committed to a person, project, or quest for information, and while it can be time-consuming, you're enjoying yourself. You gravitate to subtle or multi-layered things today, and your private life can get a boost. There can also be comfort and healing in studies or a special interest. Studies you undertake now can be fruitful in the future. You might throw yourself into a project or mystery to solve. However, responsibilities to work or duty can feel more urgent with the moon's move to the top of your solar chart. Even so, mixed signals are possible, but this also means you're tuning into multiple levels of a situation, and you can quickly adapt to changing needs. Today, as the sweet moon dances through the heavens, she will soar through your solar house of achievements. This will turn your attention to public recognition and how you're presenting your relationship to the world. If you're proudly displaying your lover as a prize or if you're instead ashamed to be public about who you're with, this will tell you a lot about where you stand and the kind of relationship you're in. If single, this is a good moment to consider how you can intuitively balance career and professional pursuits while looking for a lover. With the moon in Gemini, your intellectual and communication skills are also empowered. What do you want to be known for? As a hard-working sign, you may feel like there is not enough time in the day to accomplish all that you set out to do. But as the moon enters divergent Gemini today, you may feel like you can multitask more efficiently. Do not be surprised if you become known for taking on numerous responsibilities and even several career paths during this divergent lunation. You may even feel like you are finally getting the recognition you deserve for all that you do. The moon's return to your career sector today means that here for the next few days this will get the new working week off to a good start. However, this is also set to have a positive impact across the income, work, and career fronts. Over the next few days, the moon will align with Mars here and form a friendly aspect to planets on the income and job fronts, in each case for the last time before they leave. If you find yourself giving in to other people too much because you feel they depend on you, it's time to give yourself the attention you deserve and stop distracting yourself through filling the needs of others. Ground yourself with deep breathing exercises. Have you been getting regular aerobic exercise? Take it easy if it's been a while, but definitely try to get back into caring for yourself first. This can be an excellent day to do some serious financial planning. This day focuses on making money and, of course, spending it. Chances are you have a strong sense of your responsibilities, and the need to be on top of your finances is nothing you don't know. Yet, it never hurts to work at your planning every now and then. Use the common sense energy of this day's essence to help you make any adjustments that you deem necessary. On the one hand, the moon's return to your career sector today will get the working week off to a good start, ensuring your professional instincts are sharp and you are emotionally and intuitively engaged from the start. On the other hand, this brings you to the start of a game-changing few days across the income, work and career fronts, as the moon not only makes its last visit to your career sector before Mars leaves but before all the planets currently in your income and work sectors also leave. The moon's departure from an adventurous part of your chart today is likely to have a lingering impact while also bringing a taste of things to come. As the last visit before Venus, the planet of love returns to begin a mission to bring the spirit of romance and adventure together, a friendly aspect to Pluto in your romantic sector can get the ball rolling. Our eyes in the sky. The Gemini moon is stirring up gossip today. Keep your focus on networking and reaching new people and you should find the attention and validation you seek. The sun and moon find themselves in a wonky position to one another, so try not to worry too much about what others might be saying about you. Remember that true confidence comes from within and doesn't rely on how others view you. The moon in Gemini is wreaking havoc with our sleep. Unfortunately, if you find yourself tossing and turning throughout the night, 
an unbalanced aspect between the Moon and Venus could exacerbate feelings of fatigue as the morning unfolds. A scattered vibe is likely to manifest during the first part of the day, when the Moon and Mercury engage in an off-kilter connection. If you're struggling with disorganization, take the time to rethink your daily responsibilities and reassign any tasks you can put off for another day. It's the week for conjunctions as several planets meet up in the same signs. The first is Venus conjoining Jupiter in fiery Aries on Wednesday, creating the best date night of the year. If you're single, you could find the person who lights a spark in your heart. Enjoy the exhilaration of falling in love again and again. Spread the love to others when Mercury conjoins Saturn in Aquarius on Thursday. This is an ideal day to put in the work to make your community a better place. Start by doing some volunteering, community organizing, or reading about social justice issues. End the week on a dreamy note when Mercury enters Pisces, also on Thursday, encouraging us to use our imagination as we dream of spring. Over the next two weeks our thoughts become more creative and artistic but a little delusional as we see the world through rose-colored glasses. Just after midnight, the first quarter moon in Gemini invites us to reflect on intentions set during February 19th Pisces new moon. At that time, we were encouraged to combine intuition and dedication to create something of lasting significance. We may have undertaken this initiative to heal ourselves or to honor a loss. Yet now, we hit a snag in our plan. Distractions force us off the devotional path. Conversations interrupt our progress or confuse our objectives, scattering our attention. It is important that we remember that healing is not linear. Life continues to go on around us, even as we are sorting through our emotions and personal choices. Instead of seeing this issue as something that has derailed you, look for lessons within. What can the Gemini moon teach you about finding curiosity in the moment, instead of trying to transcend the moment or be elsewhere? Your mind will be running in circles. There will be so much information coming at you that it will be next to impossible to make any sort of decision. Go with your first instinct and don't waste the rest of the day second-guessing yourself. A short time later, the moon sextals Venus in Aries, making us outgoing and social. Our vibrant attitude and charm help us to make new friends or catch up with old ones. Many of us will be asleep at this hour, and we can expect our dreams to be pleasant and stimulating. Memories of past experiences or previously forgotten information pop into our minds. Keep a voice recorder or journal handy to log these reminiscences when you awaken. They may prove useful in the course of your day.